my name is Prashant Warrior. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Cure AI. Cure AI is a company that uses AI to automatically interpret radiology images. Becoming a radiologist is a skill that takes about 30 years for a human to master, and we are now teaching machines to do that automatically within seconds. Give us an X-ray, chest X-ray, or a musculoskeletal X-ray. We can interpret that within 30 seconds. This can be assistive to a radiologist or uh, a neurologist or a pulmonologist in various places and in places where there is no radiologist available it can actually be that sort of AI radiologist which reads those scans and interprets the scan for a uh, for a human reader. So we can start late tomorrow then but we'll be open if can answer We had two goals for this trip. One was to provide an X-ray machine to the Himalayan Rescue Association in Ferishe. That is at about 4,300 meters. This is an X-ray machine that is equipped with AI to interpret chest X-rays and musculoskeletal X-rays. And that can be used to treat patients, to diagnose patients across that region, from tourists to local uh, locals in the region, uh, to Sherpas that are climbing up and down. The second goal was to set a Guinness world record for the highest ever use of AI to interpret a chest X-ray and also for the highest ever X-ray taken, which we wanted to set at about 5,600 meters altitude. Oh, can, can, can I try to carry it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Every step is tough. We are heading to this place, which is a viewpoint. You can see Mount Everest from there. This is about 200 meters above Namchi Bazaar. And the one on the left, that is Everest. I wanted to carry the portable x-ray machine because I wanted to understand what it's really like to move it from one place to another. These ultra-portable x-ray machines equipped with artificial intelligence can be truly game-changing to provide services in remote areas like we are now. The ability to move a machine that can conduct x-rays into remote mountainous regions is an amazing accomplishment. Okay, big deep breath and hold it. Good, breathe. It's perfect. It's a very good image. It's all good. No TB. Why we are doing this is to show that if you can bring healthcare access to the top of the world, you can bring it to anywhere else in the world. We are taking an X-ray machine with AI to the Kala Pathar, which is above the Everest base camp, 5,600 meters, and doing screening there. And uh, this is a long trip. This is a tough trip. And uh, we're already doing this in various regions. I mean, for example, in Nigeria, we have got our customers taking out boats with X-ray machine and AI to really remote communities and screening people in those communities. We've got horses uh, going out with X-ray machine plus AI to regions where uh, they, are, they are running screening camps. Uh, we've got mobile vans and bikes and so many different ways that we're reaching uh, very remote communities. But I think this is, this is a huge achievement and we just want to demonstrate that AI can make healthcare accessible to the whole world, to every person in some of the most remotest parts of the world. Stop TB is a UNOPS hosted entity and we galvanize the global fight to end TB. We have about 2,000 partners uh, all over the world and have several different areas of, of work, including delivering innovations to the TB space, delivering drugs and diagnostics, and coordinating the global advocacy and communications efforts uh, worldwide. This is a 100-year-old monastery, but reconstructed, redeveloped in 1989. I was talking to him about healthcare setup here and what happens if somebody falls sick. So he told me that the only option is for people to be helicoptered back to Kathmandu. I told him about our mission of, of giving the X-ray machine with AI to Ferishe, so he was uh, very happy with that.
We are at 4,000 plus meters now. So breathing is hard. And even when you're walking, it's not like really uphill, but it's still hard. I like doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I did here. that a lot, man. I did that a lot. Carrying yeah. the thing up, I was just put my, I put the poles there, and I was just <laughs> fastest perfect. way to reduce your heart rate. It was perfect. In many countries which have high burdens of TB, there are severe lack of human radiologists who generally interpret chest images and the artificial intelligence can do this work, uh, interpret the images, and let the medical staff know that a person may or may not need further testing for TB. In the clinics that we've visited so far on this trip, and in many clinics across all parts of, of TB high burden countries, it is often a single physician, maybe not even a physician, who is responsible for operating and interpreting those x-ray images. The artificial intelligence can assist the healthcare worker at these clinics, take better images, as well as provide expert interpretation. The quality of the artificial intelligence is similar to or better even than expert human readers, expert radiologists. And it will allow a healthcare worker to make better treatment decisions, better triage decisions for the person visiting the clinic. We are at the Himalayan Rescue Association. We have a training session in the afternoon uh, where Michael will train them on the operation of the X-ray and Jay will train them on the use of the AI. When Pure AI and Prashant and, and Mike from Min X-ray came up and, and approached Stop TV with this idea to bring portable chest X-ray and artificial intelligence to an incredibly remote, no roads, remote region, we thought it was a wonderful idea. And, and we're working under a tagline, carrying TV innovation to new heights. You know, for me, this trip really is about bringing attention to global health inequity, right? Not everybody's up here a trekker because they want to be, right? The people from this community and these communities deserve to have the same access to health care as the most privileged in the world. We can find, find disease, provide better diagnostics in any part of, any part of the world, and uh, make diagnostics much more democratized across the world. That is the idea of uh, doing this. So really amazing work that you're doing, and look forward to supporting a lot more. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I think it is like a lot more useful because we can like have a second opinion too and we can write a full report and mm -hmm. elaborate more. So it's, it's, it's a good, good tool to have. We have 60 hip this season mm -hmm. already in like less than two months. And then we have few injuries. Can you talk about the first patient and what, what the patient came in with and what, what you saw and what the AI report? Yeah, so the patient came in with the very low sad shortness of breath and we suspected him hip. We had crackles in the both lungs and then, yeah, so he was on oxygen overnight. Mm -hmm. The next morning we did the x-ray and then, yeah, so the x-ray, the AI showed some abnormality mm -hmm. in the, in the, like, it, in the x-ray. 
Mm. Yeah, and it was it matched with the clinical diagnosis too. So yeah. Mm. So an AI like helping out, you don't have to have a radiologist to like we can't consult with them every time. So it will be a great tool to have. Tuberculosis is the world's biggest infectious disease killer. It kills more or less 2 million people every year. It kills more people than malaria and HIV together. My name is Miguel Boholt. I'm the director of operations and program inside the Stop TB partnership. With these new innovations and the artificial intelligence, um, we are no longer dependent on the same amount of human uh, knowledge and radiologists and, and experts, uh, meaning we can get to much more remote places with less people um, and we can read and screen people in volumes and therefore we can pretty much reach the unreachable which we in the past have not been able to do to the same extent. So now this becomes a question of political will and resources and not whether we can do it or not. We were basically climbing up 400 meters straight and it was it was tough and I think everybody, we have a 10 member group, all of us found it extremely tough. We're climbing at like 2 p.m. in the afternoon, it was very cold. It's good, it's tough, but the mission is keeping us going at driven. Once we got to Kalapathar, it was super windy and super cold. Uh, and the worst thing was because of the cold, the uh, laptop for the X-ray machine did not work. We were actually worried would we be able to attempt the record. And uh, we are trying to figure out how to charge it. Luckily, Mike had one of the uh, charging cables, so we're trying to figure out if we can charge it. Big deep breath. Tulsa sounds good. Breathe. Got it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. 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 <laughs> The person that we x-rayed, uh, two people that we x-rayed, one was the guide that came with us, uh, Kaji Sherpa. Uh, amazing guy, I mean, he's somebody uh, who's uh, been with us throughout and helped us get to the Kalapathar. Uh, and the second person we x-rayed was uh, Pima Tamang. He's one of the porters that worked with us. And uh, we also interpreted their x-rays and there were some findings. Uh, but yeah, we were able to figure out and identify abnormalities on the x-rays. As you can see, the, the chest x-ray is abnormal, but for tuberculosis it's negative, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, now we'll view what the AI interpretation actually did. Mm -hmm. We can give you the x-ray, okay. we can also give you the AI interpretation and you can actually go to the doctor and get it checked if you want just as a as a second opinion because as a diagnostic uh, next step what exactly needs to be done for this mm -hmm. he or she can tell when we started cure eight years ago our goal was to bring affordability and accessibility to healthcare through the power of ai and when we look back at what we've achieved in the last eight years we've done quite a bit i mean we are in about 90 countries uh, in more than 3000 sites 
uh, we've reached more than 25 million patients to date. And our goal eight years back was to reach a billion people. And we are quite a long way from that. But this expedition is one part of that journey to show that we can bring AI to the top of the world. If we can bring AI to this region, the Everest Base Camp region and Kalapathar, where accessibility is very, very low, right? I mean, it's so hard to reach here. You have to walk up 10 days to get to this place. You can bring AI to any part of the world, the most remote parts of the world. And this is just the beginning. I think we are on a mission to really transform healthcare with AI and reach a billion lives.